Dragon Age Origins is the first entry in the Dragon Age franchise. It's loved by many, including myself, and a lot of people enjoy its complex tactic system and it is well known for the fact that there are multiple unique origin stories to choose from. And then I haven't even mentioned the compelling companion characters or the detailed quest lines or the fact that there are also quite a lot of different endings you can get. I could go on. In short, this game is full of great things, including a lot of easter eggs and references to other games and media. In this video I will be showing you a few easter eggs and references that stood out to me and I will explain what they are and where or how they can be found. So without further ado, let's find easter eggs in Dragon Age Origins. Let's start off with a few quick ones. In the Denera Market you can find a book that contains a poem about Nugs and Mush. It is part of the codex entry called the Nullidar Anthology of Dwarven Poetry. The book can be found behind a merchant called Caesar in the center of the market district. Nugs and Mush is written by Paragon Seuss. This is a reference to Dr. Seuss's green eggs and ham. If you enter the Wonders of Thetis shop in a dinner market while Liliana is with you, she will comment on a pair of glass slippers. This is a reference to the fairy tale of Cinderella. If you speak with Sten in the end game celebration after defeating the Archdemon, you will say this. Where is the cake? I was told there would be cake. The cake is a lie. This, of course, is a reference to the first person puzzle game Portal. Okay, this one isn't really Dragon Age Origins specific I guess, and it's also not really a reference, but I wanted to include it anyway because it's a fun fact. Thetis is actually an acronym originally used back when the setting was still unnamed. It stands for the Dragon Age setting. The next reference is a random encounter called the Crater and can be encountered anywhere on the map but is seemingly encountered more frequently when traveling to or from Hunleith. An old couple called John and Marta can be seen standing by a smoldering crater. And, well, I'll let the cutscene speak for itself. How did a child survive that? The crater is still smoking. It's a boy. Five fingers, five toes. That's all that matters to me. The Maker has answered our prayers. Let's go home, Marta, and raise the Tyke as our own. A pile of ore can be recovered from the crater, and if you have the Warden's Keep DLC installed and completed, you can use the ore to craft a sword called Starfang. Both the crater and Starfang are references to the comic book Superman Call. The next one is an easter egg that can be encountered in Denerim. I did not know this was a thing until I encountered it myself a while back. I was minding my own business in the Denerim market, when suddenly... I had no idea what this was, and when I looked it up, it turned out to be a random encounter called Zombie Kitten Army. According to the Dragon Age wiki, you may need to enter the Denner Market at least 42 times for it to trigger. It also seems that the cats come out a bit more often and move around a bit more for those who own the Feast Day Pranks DLC and have the Cat Lady's Hobble Stick item for win. This is one of my favorite easter eggs because, like the Nug King in Dragon Age Inquisition, it's just a random, funny, cute thing and it doesn't make sense. And it's literally an army of cats. And I love cats, so of course I had to include this one. If you pick the wise or experienced voice for your warden, they will sometimes say, my warden sense is tingling. This voice line is triggered randomly when encountering an enemy, and they might even say it before actually becoming a warden. This is a reference to Spider-Man's spidey sense. The next easter egg is located behind a farmhouse in the village of Haven. It's an area with a bunch of gravestones. Only after completing the Urn of Sacred Ashes, the area will become accessible. If you try to go there before completing the quest, the entrance will simply be blocked off by a fence. When you have completed the quest, you can just go back to the village of Haven and go to the farmhouse. If you walk all the way to the right of the farmhouse, you will now see that the part of the fence is gone and you can enter the graveyard. After entering the graveyard, you'll notice that you can now click on the gravestones. Each gravestone will have its own specific line of text, 
These are actually references and developer quotes. A few of which are, here lies spam, good riddance, and may you never haunt us again. In loving memory of multiplayer. This is probably a reference to the multiplayer mode. Dragon Age Origins was supposed to launch with a multiplayer mode, but it had to be scrapped mid-development to make sure the game would ship on time. In memory of John Doe, human commoner. Originally, there was going to be a human commoner origin in the game. Unfortunately, it was cut due to the story not fitting the tone of the game as well as time constraints. The human commoner was supposed to be from a farm in Redcliffe, and some of the dialogue can still be found in the game files. Jennifer Hepler, Queen of the Dwarves Jennifer Hepler was a Bioware writer who worked on Dragon Age and wrote the Dwarf Commoner Origin as well as the Anvil of the Void questline. She was also responsible for developing the Dwarven lore and culture. I'm not going to read out all of the text lines, but I will put a complete list on screen right now so you can pause if you want to read them all. They can also be found on the Dragon Age wiki together with all of the other easter eggs I covered in this video. And for the last easter egg I have for you today, here's another silly one. We all know Ogren says a lot of weird things, but have you ever heard him say the word ass chaps? <laughs> ass chaps. <laughs> <laughs> so, what the hell does this mean, Ogren? Well, this was a joke between the writers. Apparently, David Gator would at least once or twice a week complain about having chair butt after the long hours of writing Dragon Age. The writers then created the Association of Chair Butt Sufferers. The abbreviation, Ass Jabs, was written on their whiteboard. Jay Turner, who was writing Ogren at the time, thought it sounded like something Ogren would say. And so, the word ass chaps was added to his dialogue, so that it would never be forgotten. And that's all the easter eggs I have for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble on about silly easter eggs in a video game. There are still plenty of easter eggs and references in Dragon Age Origins that I haven't covered here, so I might cover them in a later video. For now, if there's any specific easter egg you'd like me to cover next, I'd love to know, so feel free to leave a comment. Bye for now and see you next time.